We're in the rare book and manuscript library at Columbia University, and I'm speaking with Professor Blanche Wiesen Cook, Professor of History at John Jay College and the City University of New York. So, can we talk a little bit about Crystal Eastman because she's the lesser known of these right. uh, individuals? Right. Um, except for my lonely little book of her papers and letters, there really is no biography of Crystal Eastman. There needs to be one. Um, she is fascinating. She dies very young of a kidney disease in 1928, but her life is so full. She, her first work is for workers' compensation after industrial accidents. So she is responsible for the first laws to regulate industrial accidents and to pay workers' compensation for industrial accidents. And then she becomes very um, progressive and really is the founder of the ACLU. Um, but she's a peace person. She's also, she is one of the few socialists who is also an equal rights feminist. So for example, when the ERA is introduced in 1923 by Alice Paul, who we know is a great conservative and a bit of a racist, Crystal Eastman says it doesn't matter what she is, she has a thought. Women should have equal rights, and this is a fight worth fighting, Crystal Eastman writes in 1923, even if it takes 10 years. And yeah. here we are in the 21st century. century. Right, yes. still fighting, fighting for equal rights. Right. And that's Crystal Eastman, a big visionary. Her articles are fantastically important to this day. Um, so what? She, uh, f women's rights, sexual rights, sexual freedom, all kinds of freedom. She is the attorney and she fights for, for these things. So despite the fact that her name isn't a household word, she's linked she's to linked. this network of women, which includes not only Wald and Adams, but Henrietta Rodman, right. Charlotte Perkins Gilman is on the ed edge of it, Anna Howard Shaw, we could keep could go going. On. And then for the European side, she spends a lot of her life in essentially in exile um, in London, and she writes for Time and Tide, mm -hmm. as in Time and Tide waits for no, no man. man. It's the you know most progressive British monthly. Is it a monthly? I think it it's is. A monthly, yes. Um, published in London, um, but Crystal Eastman is a regular contributor to Time and Tide, as well as to Four Lights and to other to the Nation. Great.